Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Power Ranger Ninja Steel opening theme song. Alright, so before we start teaching you what to play, I'll give you a preview of what we're going to learn today, the section that we're going to learn today. It's pretty awesome, is this part. Okay, so it goes like this. Check it out. Pretty awesome, let's go ahead and start. Right hand starts on the C sharp up here. So middle C, we go up an octave C, starting on the C sharp right here, all right? So it goes C sharp, D sharp, E, and then two more E's, another E, another E, D sharp, and then three C sharps, and then B, and then two C sharps like that. That's the first part for the right hand, okay? So, let's do it once more. This first part goes like this, all right? So it goes C sharp, D sharp, E, another two E's, uh, one E, and another E, D sharp, and three fast C sharps, B, and C sharp, C sharp, all right? So that's the right hand. So the rhythm is quite important for this because it's kind of a lot of like syncopation and differences between each part, all right? So you kind of have to go da 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 two, three, four, two, like that. Okay, so when it's a bit faster, it goes like this. Okay, so it's pretty difficult for the rhythm, just have to kind of like adjust to what I just taught you and listen to the original a lot of times and you'll get it, alright? But anyway, that's the right hand for the first part for the yeah, melody. Left hand, the chords are really easy, there's four chords and the four chords are all, all of them are C sharp minor, alright? So it's pretty easy, so it's C sharp, E, G sharp, alright? So you play that for four times, second time, third time and fourth time, alright? So each chord you kind of hold it for four counts, one, two, three, four. So that's the first part for the left hand, all right? So you kind of like memorize the position of the C sharp minor so you, you can just focus on the right hand, all right? Anyway, uh, let's put the two hands together for this first part. So it goes like this, right hand starts first, and after E, C sharp minor by itself. After D sharp, C sharp minor by itself. Last C sharp and C sharp minor together. Two, three, four, and C sharp minor by itself, like that. All right, just like that, that's the first part. Okay, so let's do it once more. So it goes like this, all right? So it goes here, here. Together, two, three, four, two, two, three, okay. So moving on, the second part now. Right hand, it's really similar, but the rhythm kind of changes the time a bit, all right? So it goes like this. The only difference, actually, all the notes are actually the same, but just the rhythm changes for the E's, the multiple E's at the start. So it goes like this, same, C sharp, D sharp, E, and then E, one E, and then two fast E's, and then E, D sharp, and then three C sharps, B, C sharp, C sharp. So all the notes are the same, but just the rhythm, okay? So um, I'll tell you the rhythm, so it goes uh, three fast uh, notes first, so it goes da 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 Two, three, four, like that. Okay, so the difference is uh, there's like we switch around the okay after the C sharp D sharp E, you know how there's three E's. At the um, first part, we do groups of the two and then the one E, but this time it's groups of one and then two, so it's kind of switched over. So it's like da 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 it's kind of like two fast E's first before the one fast E, okay? So, yeah, one more time, so the rhythm goes Like that, okay? So, like that one, is a bit faster, all right? So the rhythm is quite important, it's the difference between the first part and the second part, okay? So that's the second part, right hand, left hand, same four chords actually, same C sharp minor, all right? C sharp, E, G sharp, 
Okay, so pretty easy for the second part because it's all the same left hand chords. But anyway, the two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts, goes here. That's the second part. Okay, one more time. So it goes like this. Here. Here. Together. Two, three, four. Here. Two, three, four. Like that. Alright? Yeah. So that's the second part. Okay, so so far, the first two parts back to back is played like this. Okay, now you can kind of hear the differences between it once I play the first and second part back to back like this. Okay, check it out. Differences you can hear is the start, the da 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 da, da. and the other one is da 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 da. Okay, so it's kind of different. Okay, so it's like da 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 da, da. and the other one's da 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 da, da like that. All right, so kind of like the opposite way around. Okay, but yeah, practice that and get the difference between the first and second part because it kind of like yeah, well, it makes it different. All right, because you can repeat the first part to the second part, but it doesn't really sound right because that's the difference between the um, we'll call it the rhythm. All right, but anyway, moving on to the third part now. Third part goes like this. Here's the part where it's the go go Power Rangers. That part, all right? It goes like this: E E D E G E, like that, and then it goes F sharp F sharp E F sharp A F sharp. And then, let me see. Okay, let's just call this the um, third part, all right? The last part is really simple, but let's just leave that afterwards. So this is the third part one more time. So it goes like this. E, E, D, E, G, E. F sharp, F sharp, E, F sharp, A, F sharp. Same rhythm for both, like, kind of like uh, sequences, okay? So it's like, go, go, power rangers. Da, go, da, 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 da. Like that, all right? So that's the rhythm for the third part. Okay, anyway, left hand changes the chords here. There's two E minor chords, which is E, G, B. And then after that, it's two F sharp minor chords, which is F sharp, A, C sharp. All right, so two E minor chords and two F sharp minor chords. With that in mind, memorize those positions so you can focus on the right hand more. So it goes like this, two hands together, goes E and E minor together. It goes together, after G, E minor by itself, like that, and F sharp and F sharp minor together, after E. So one more time, so it goes like this, together, here, three, four, together, here, and like that, just like that, all right, so, yeah, that's the third part, okay, so, so far what we have now, the first three parts played back to back goes like this, So moving on to the fourth and last part goes like this. Pretty simple. It's really only four notes for the right hand. Goes G sharp and then down to B C sharp C sharp like that. All right, one more time. So it goes like this: G sharp two three four one two B C sharp C sharp like that. So like, go ninja steel like okay, okay. But anyway, uh, yeah. Uh, let me see. That's the right hand. The left hand. We have one, two, three, four, one. Okay, three chords here. And finishing it off. It's two G sharp minor chords. So G sharp B D sharp. Another G sharp minor chord, and then finish with C sharp minor hold. C sharp E G sharp. All right. So with these three chords memorize. Let's put your two hands together like this. Okay. So G sharp and G sharp minor together. Two, three, four. G sharp minor by itself. Last C sharp and C sharp minor chord together, and you hold it just like that. One more time, so it goes like this, together, two, three, four, here, two, da, da, together, like that. And that's it, all right? So it's pretty simple. Uh, the four parts back to back will just go like this.
that's pretty much it. Okay, for this lesson, I'm just gonna cover this part, but I've done the full cover for it, including all the parts of it, including like the injured parts and like da -da 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 -da, like that part, and like many other parts of the song as well. Check it out. I mean, maybe you're gonna get some inspiration on what you can do for my improvisations that I've done for the uh, lesson that I, what I just taught today. But mostly, I just kind of like made everything just bigger. But check it out, check it out. Um, it's probably like the video before this video because mostly I always like play the cover first, then like I improvise the cover and play other stuff, and then I teach it afterwards like this. But anyway, if you like this lesson, go ahead and subscribe for more because I have so many on this channel. I have over 1,700 piano videos for you to enjoy and learn from. But yeah, as for now, enjoy your time on my channel and see you next time. Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world, including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my Ear Mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.